really odd going on here. We've got the neon transformer firing up the uh, fluorescent tube again. And we're running about that much. Uh, power is... Yeah, let me see here. Uh, not even 50 volts AC going into this thing. It's not fully lit up. It's it's pretty well lit. I don't want to turn it up anymore, otherwise the voltage is going to drop down on this this light show we've got going on here on the, on the scope. It'll disappear. Very quick bursts. Uh, DC switched. That's what Tesla was talking about. Very fast pulses. That died, but the light's still going. The light will flicker when that high energy uh, waveform goes away. It's still on, but it. And the voltage. Yeah, it loses about 30, 40, 50 volts, but light's still lit. This is some of the, some of the waveforms I've seen earlier as a couple of weeks ago trying to replicate Don Smith's work. And I did get the waveform going for a little while and it just died off. Couldn't seem to get it going. I don't know if it was the diodes or what. They all seem to check out good, but I couldn't get this waveform going. But it's never been as bright as it is now. Again, what you're seeing is spark gap superimposing uh, its discharge onto the rest of the circuit. Yeah. I guess it's capacitively inducted because there's, well, induct. I'm not sure how it's. It's going back through the uh, spark gap itself. It's, like I said, it's a lot of plasma discharge going on in here. It's, you're actually seeing a, some waveform of probably plasma superimposed on the circuit. Simple LC tank circuit. Again, the circuit that we have firing is this one here with a neon going to ground. Diodes backwards from Don's uh, Don Smith circuit. This is her suggestion from uh, Patrick Kelly. Some of the people that were doing replication efforts of Don suggested that Don was putting his stuff backwards. Let me see here. This is the uh, resident energy methods. This is Don uh, Smith's document uh, that Patrick Kelly actually added to. Find it on the internet. Uh, I've got a link on this. Let me see here. It's a real good insight into his work. Now. Uh, you see that's Don's capacitors are, are going positive out, but Pat Kelly suggested we try turning those things around, which is what we've got here. We've got uh, diodes facing the other way. Again, this book, uh, I've got the link on this YouTube video here, as well as the link towards uh, Ed Gray's uh, book by uh, Dr. Peter Lieberman. Uh, again, the Ed Gray patents. Uh, that's the patent number right there. And that's the circuit where actually we've got uh, number 38 is the capacitor we've got going. I've got a couple of uh, Microwave oven capacitors. This is the uh, spark discharge tube, and it's extracting electrons with the uh, the grids here. And those are our microwave oven capacitors. One microfarad each, about 2,000 volts. One side uh, it's in parallel. My light died out here. 
Okay, turn the voltage up a bit. Get it to fire again. There we go. We got it to fire, and the voltage was about 400 volts before we fired it. We're going to turn it up a little bit more. Well, if you go too far, well, that's still going. It's a fantastic waveform we've got here. Never seen anything like that. Let's see if I can adjust that out a bit. Get something we're used to seeing. Wow. It's hard to get anything better than that. Resembles a normal circuit firing. It's kind of wild. Kind of wild. What can I say? Well, there you have it.